Hi, I'm Craig Bell. And this is John Perkins. And this is Take 5. Hey, today we're welcoming Connor Bell to the studio with us. Connor's my 16-year-old son. Welcome aboard, Connor. Thank you. It's good to be here. The story's told about a man who went to hear a preacher who was a great orator, and he left the service that day saying, wow, what a preacher. He really used his words eloquently. The same man went to hear another preacher later on who preached the gospel from his heart, preached Christ crucified. When he left that service, he was said to have said, wow, what a savior. Who are you representing today? We'll talk about that on Take 5. In one of his meetings, John Wesley denounced the sins of the people he was preaching to. Two men, heavily under the influence of liquor, stood on the edge of the crowd. He's saying mean things about us, they said. Let's do him in. With large rocks in their hands, they crept to a vantage point from which they could hurl them at Wesley's head, hoping to take him out. As they were about to carry out their murderous plan, Wesley's emphasis suddenly changed from sin to the Savior and sinner's friend. While he lovingly and earnestly spoke of the Savior, his face shone and his fervent words burned their way into the hearts of his would-be murderers. The stones dropped from their hands. They went and knelt at Wesley's feet began to repent and pray, confess their sins. He put his hands on their heads and said, God bless you, my boys. God bless you. As they walked away, one said, was that God himself? No, Bill, he, the other one said, but it was a man that was like him. So Connor, what's some of the ways that we can let the love of Christ show through us in our day? A few things come to my mind would be your actions, your love, and your joy. Yeah, those are great ways for people to see Christ through us, through the witness that we have of of the life that we live that's changed. You know, Connor recently accepted the call to preach, and uh, John, he's actually started preaching now. I guess you've heard the sermon online. But uh, Connor, that's a pretty big step you made there. Yes, it was. I uh, had to pray a lot about that one. So, Brother Connor, how did you know when the Lord was calling you to preach, and how nervous was that, knowing you being such a young man, 16 years old, that the Lord instilled in you and entrusted in you to preach the Holy Word of God? Well, um, a lot of things were happening, uh, a lot of signs, and uh, things that kind of just told me more and more that, yeah, this is what you need to do. This is what God's telling you to do. And I was very nervous about it a lot. Of t- I, the whole time I was very nervous and because it's a, a big, big calling, but I know that God will help me. You didn't seem nervous at all. didn't seem like you, uh, which I, I know that that's what the Lord can do. Um, what advice would you give young people, whether it's them getting called to preach or them getting called to do a mission trip or a, a devotion or teach Sunday school or help with a youth group? What advice would you give them? Or even kind of like just stepping out and speaking when you need to speak for God, right? I say you should do what God wants you to do and don't be afraid of what your friends might say or what someone might say. Just if God's told you to do it, then step out and do it. You know, that reminds me, uh, Ray Steedman told the story of a time when after a Billy Graham crusade meeting, he slipped into a seat on a bus beside a young man who had gone forward in the meeting and had given his heart to Christ. Pastor Steedman spoke to him of what his new life would mean in Christ. And he mentioned that he could now be free from all fear of death. The young man turned and looked at the older man in the eye and said, I've never been much afraid of death, but I'll tell you what I am afraid of. I'm afraid I'll waste my life. Boy, that's something to think about, isn't it? That we would not be wasting the life God has given us, the calling God has given us, the opportunities that God has given us. This is the time to speak out. You see, it's really not up to us whether we get to be witnesses for Christ. As a Christian, we're just called to do that. And that just happens in our lives. We all represent someone, right? Whether it's the interest of ourself or the interest of Christ, but we're representing someone, each and every single one of us. Here's a poem to think about. You are writing a gospel, a chapter each day, by deeds that you do, by words that you say. Men read what you write, whether faithless or true. Say, what is the gospel according to you? Brother Connor, we want to thank you for uh, being on our podcast. We want to thank you for taking that step of faith and preaching the Word of God and doing it uh, not because you want to, not because you want the fame or the glory or a pat on the back, but do it because you love the Lord and you want to share the love of the Lord with Amen. the one people that you know in your life and that you love in your life. And what a great testimony. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.